This is a male eastern tiger swallowtail. Present in DC from May until September, they feed on the nectar of flowers from a variety of plants. Their yellow and black coloring is used to deter birds who would normally make them their dinner. One of the common predators of the eastern tiger swallowtail is the downy woodpecker. Males can be distinguished from females by the crest at the back of their head. They are the smallest species of woodpecker in all of North America and are permanent residents of the DC region. Another bird of the DC region is the double crested cormorant. These migratory birds made a comeback in North America following EPA's ban on DDT. Being at the top of the food chain, the cormorant was severely affected by DDT due to bioaccumulation. The cormorant dives underwater in search of food, using its feet as propellers. They can dive 20 feet or more underwater and remain there for up to 30 seconds. The mallard duck, the most abundant duck on all of planet Earth. The male mallard is notable for its distinct green head, while the females are plain brown. They spend most of their time on the surface of the water, searching for fish, amphibians, and plants. Not to be confused with the great blue heron, the yellow crowned night heron is a small solitary heron that can be found on the Potomac year round. While you may be fooled by its slow movement, it can attack with lightning speed. The yellow crowned night heron's diet consists of crustaceans and small fish, although it has been known to attack ducklings. Bluegills are one of the Potomac's smallest fish species, yet they play a large role in the ecosystem. They feed on small insects and are prey to herons, cormorants, and catfish, among many other species. Unfortunately, a few invasive species have been introduced to the Potomac waterways. Both the blue catfish and common carp have been extremely destructive to the river. The common carp eats and uproots large amounts of vegetation, failing to digest all the nutrients. This leads to eutrophication. The blue catfish, on the other hand, voraciously feeds on native fish and multiplies rapidly. One of the lesser noticed species in the Potomac ecosystem is the broad-headed skink. These skinks are abundant and the males can be easily distinguished from the females because of their bright red heads. But the Potomac and all of its inhabitants are in danger. Pollution from all parts of the city is causing huge damage to the river. Heavy rains cause sewage pipes to back up and a mixture of sewage and storm water that normally goes to a treatment plant is discharged directly into the Potomac. In addition, large amounts of trash accumulate in the river, which when consumed is incredibly detrimental to local wildlife. <laughs> 